I think we've seen this question in the comment section like three times now, so I guess we better get after it. And the question is, am I allowed to trough my shot? And what it means to trough your shot is rather than trying to make a valid shot, you simply place your button in the trough. And actually, why don't you go ahead and throw a comment down below. Do you call this the trough, the gutter, the ditch, or something else entirely? What do you think sounds as prestigious and distinguished as the greatest game on earth? truly deserves. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Crokinole Boards and in this video we are going to answer three questions. Question one, why would you want to trough, ditch, gutter, or whatever you want to call it, your shot? Question two, is it legal to trough, ditch, gutter, or whatever you want to call it, your shot? Question three, is it in good sportsmanship to trough, ditch, gutter, or whatever you want to call it, your shot? And if you stick around to the end, you'll pick up on what I feel could be a unique perspective on this particular strategy being employed. Question number one, why would you want to trough your shot? You may be sitting there thinking, come on, Jeremy, I've only got eight buttons, so to get rid of one of them, that's like 12.5% of my ammunition. Did you do the math in your head on that one? Yep, sure did. One divided by eight equals 12.5%. There are absolutely times in a round of crokinole where you are going to want to consider using this strategy. We're going to look at three, but just know within each one of these, there's a thousand different variations that could lead to this. But just as an example, if it's your shot and you're looking at the board and it looks something like this. So you've got an opponent's button on the far side of the board. You look at all your options to how to go about making this shot. And if you're a really strong player, what you're going to do is weigh out the pros and cons. What are the potential upside, the cost benefit here? What, the potential upside is that you're going to be able to knock that opponent's button off that's worth 10 points and have one more of your buttons in play. That's best case scenario. But if you look at a situation like this and you go, what is the worst case scenario? If you miss your shot, if you're not able to successfully make a valid shot, there's the chance you're going to lose your shooter as well as one, two, maybe even three of your buttons that are already in play. You may look at that and go, I don't like my chances. I feel like there's way more harm than good that can come from me making this shot. That is a time when you would absolutely want to go ahead and consider not shooting your button. Scenario number two. Let's say it sets up in such a way that at the end of the round, you've got a button somewhere on your side of the board. It's somewhere out in the, either out in the 10 wide or it's on your side of the board. You're up a 20. You've got one shot left, your opponent has one shot left. You look at the situation and you know that if you do not shoot, like you trough your button, your opponent has zero, absolutely zero, or, or just a sliver of hope. There's no reasonable way that they're ever going to be able to make a 20 to tie you in the 20 count. There's no way they're going to end up, be able to end up with more points on the board to overcome your 20 or even tie that round. If you choose to trough your shot, they are forced to shoot at one out here. There's no chance of them winning the round. So that's at the end of a round when you're in control. But there are also the third the third scenario we'll look at here is there may be a time when you've got a button hidden so well on your side of the board. Even though it's in the middle of the round, you may look at it and go, I don't like my chances of going for a 20 because the potential risk, the potential downside is you set your opponent up for a 20 or even worse, a double takeout 20 to completely turn that round around. You can absolutely trough your shot. If your opponent misses, you can even trough a second shot, a third shot, and yes, I know what you're thinking, you're getting up to 25%, 37.5% of your buttons. Yes, I did that math in my head. But the option is still there if you choose that is the best strategy for you to mitigate your opponent being able to work their way back into that round. So there are just three examples of scenarios that absolutely can set up on a crokinole board where you're going to want to consider using this as an option. Now the next question is, is that legal? I will make it legal. Is it legal to intentionally trough your shot? And the answer is 100% yes. You can scour the NCA rules from top to bottom and there's nothing in there that says that you have to 
try to make a valid shot, you can absolutely shoot it off to the side, set it in the gutter. There's nothing to clearly state that you can't. And I know there are not very many, but there are some people who feel that it should be illegal. So hypothetically speaking, I believe that it is legal and it should be legal. But just for argument's sake, let's say we decided to make this illegal. Illegal is a sick bird. But let's just say we make it illegal. How would you go about writing the rule? A player must, in good conscience, with pure intentions, make every attempt humanly possible to make a legal and valid shot or be smited. So even if you were able to find the right wording for a rule like that, how do you go about enforcing it? Oopsies. Oh, darn it, I hit a peg. Oh no, I shot too strong. Are you gonna actually teach them to trough their shot? You do have a lot to say for yourself today, but not a bad point. So. There is something that is fairly widely accepted in the competitive Crokinole community, and that is if a player does choose to trough their shot, which, as we're stating, is legal, what some players will do is they merely take it and they set their disc in the trough. And that is just accepted as that was intentional, that's them making an invalid shot, getting rid of that button. If we wanted to be persnickety about the rules, it could be said that it needs to be placed down and then intentionally shot off the side. Because if you look at the letter of the law of the rules, the NCA rules, this is the starting point. And once it is struck and leaves that line, a shot is deemed to have taken place. I'm not gonna get too stuck on that, but if you want it to be to the letter of the law, you would say that rather than this. The only problem with this is that we just wanna make sure that there's absolutely no confusion. But anytime I've seen it done in competitive play, it's pretty clear that that is what the player is doing and what they intend to do. So the result is the same. Now the third question is, when you trough a shot, is that in good sportsmanship? And I think the best way to look at this is let's compare it to some other sports that are almost as important as Crokinole. Take ice hockey, for example. In a situation where a, a team is shorthanded, is it poor sportsmanship for them to ice the puck? Basically, by doing that, they're burning the clock, they're, they're taking away their opponent's possibilities of having some offense within the game. So icing the puck in hockey is not bad sportsmanship, it is good strategy. When you look at the game of football, and there are times late in the game when a quarterback chooses to take a knee rather than run any risk of an interception or a fumble or anything like that. That is not bad sportsmanship, it is good strategy, and it's completely legal. Another great sport, the second greatest disc sport in the world, disc golf. Late in a tournament or late in a round, if a player feels very comfortable with their lead, but they have a very challenging putt, what they will often, if they're smart, if they're applying good strategy, what they will choose to do is they lay up. They just put their shot right next to the basket rather than go for it, because if they go for it, it can hit the basket and have a nasty roll away and ruin their score. Oh boy. To lay up rather than going for a putt that they might be able to make, it isn't bad sportsmanship, it is simply good strategy. The exact same thing applies here. When you look at a situation and you feel your best chance to win is by troughing your shot, whether you place it in or shoot it off the side, that is not bad sportsmanship, it is really good strategy. So along these same lines of, of suggesting that it is poor sportsmanship to not go for that, my question would be if, if that's your belief and that's how you think it should be, how far are we going to go with this for sportsmanship? Let's take this scenario right here. Your opponent has a button out in the 10. A skilled player is absolutely able to angle off that and drift in toward and go for a 20. But it is often bad strategy to do that. Instead, you will do a hit and stick, leaving it out here, not giving your opponent any option at a 20. Are we gonna decide that that is poor sportsmanship and you always have to roll in even when it's bad strategy? 
There are other scenarios that I've set up and I've suggested that sometimes, even though it's counterintuitive, you do not knock your opponent's button off, that you would leave it on the board. And again, we could have that same argument, that's not sportsmanship because it's dragging out the play on the outside and not allowing things to be forced back to the middle. And again, I suggest that is not poor sportsmanship, it is simply strong strategy. So we've covered the first question of what are the situations where you may want to consider troughing 12.5% of your shots. We've also talked about is it legal and again host rules if you want to make a host rule against this go ahead and that's how we'll play at your host. I just caution you about the wording. And then the third thing is sportsmanship and in my opinion it isn't bad sportsmanship it's just good strategy. Now earlier in this video I said I was going to share a unique or different perspective and, a, and maybe it's not unique to you but I just like to throw it out there for your consideration. So. If I am playing in a tournament or in a match, if you and I are playing and a situation sets up that you are able to use this strategy against me or in favor of yourself, if I see you do that, you will most likely look across the board and see me smile and nod. I'm smiling and nodding for two reasons. One, I am impressed that your level of awareness, your level of strategy, applying strategy to your game of Crokinole is at that level. Good for you, you recognize that is the best thing for you to do in that situation. The other reason that I'm smiling is because I take it as a huge compliment. To me, when I see my opponent trough a shot like that and not open that door even a sliver, that is a huge compliment to my skill level, my ability to make an incredible round changing shot. I look at you and say thank you for that compliment, thank you for saying to me that you know if you leave that door open even a sliver, there's a chance that I'm going to turn this round around on you. So there you have it. I think we've covered every angle there possibly is to when and if and how to trough, gutter, ditch, or whatever you want to call it, your shot whenever you're playing the greatest game on earth. All right, it's your shot. What you gonna do? All right. Yo. Oh, it's not a compliment. What? No, I just like to make you sweat. I've, I've had enough. You're fired. Hey, that's it, get out, you're fired, had enough, gonzo. Keep rolling. Yeehaw, yeehaw. I don't know where the hell that came from. Anyway, <laughs> most rules, it's always your choice. Uh, again, just, wow. Woo. Yep, when, <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Are you happy now? I taught people how to trough their shot. Quite pleased. Quite pleased. <laughs> There's going to be, let me start this take over again. <clears throat> Why would you ever want to disc, <clears throat> wow, ditch? One, wow, that isn't how I scripted that. What do you think sounds prestigious? <clears throat> You're fired, that's it. I got it. Let me go, all right, your shot. Okay. And distinguished enough to make a valid shot if you don't want to take any risks because you're a big old pussycat. I can throw a match at you. Throw what now? Nothing. Throw a match at me? That's right. Because I'm struggling? I'm gonna play a match. Play a match? Strike a match. Oh. Bird. Oh. <laughs>